Lorraine Hansberry's Raisin in the Sun explores several themes specific to African-American experience. Hansberry's three-act play directly engages the segregated housing practices that confined African-Americans to Chicago's black ghetto on the South Side, the Black Belt. Each of the play's six scenes take place entirely inside the small, tired, dark space of the Younger's three-room apartment with its cockroaches and shared bathroom down the hall. This enclosed, claustrophobic space keeps the specific reality of Chicago's Black Belt at the forefront of the play. Segregation in Chicago was strictly enforced through restrictive covenants, contractual agreements between property owners, realtors, and banks that prohibited the sale or lease of property to specific groups of people, usually African Americans, Catholics, and Jews. Restricted covenants created Chicago's Black Belt, and Hansberry's play ties psychological health to integration and escape from the poverty of the ghetto. The play references racial violence enough to make us apprehensive about the Younger's plans to move out of the Black Belt into a working-class white neighborhood. Hansberry's play explores the universal experience of economic hardship and also the particularly Black experience of urban segregation and racialized stereotypes. Walter Lee's class aspirations aren't black aspirations. They're shared by many working class Americans who dream of material advancement. At the same time, the setting and context of the play call specific attention to the racism of Chicago's segregated housing. Hansberry's play puts the experience of race on stage for black audiences while inviting white audiences to see themselves in black characters. Big Walter's death provides the money and hope of legacy that set the play in motion, but the younger women recognize Mama as the family's matriarch. The younger women provide a backbone of strength for the family, and they make significant decisions without consulting men. Mama to buy the house, Ruth to keep her baby, Benita to go to Africa. Benita breaks barriers by working toward a career in medicine and by rejecting white standards of beauty. But this matriarchy comes at a cost to Walter Lee's sense of himself as a man. The end of the play suggests Walter Lee's recovery of self, but family legacy remains a question. With the character of Joseph Asagai, Hansberry's play popularizes the concept of a relationship between African Americans and Africa. Both Walter and Benita are drawn to the connection and the stage notes of Act Two, Scene One shift from comedy into majestic dignity. George Murchison mocks this connection, calling Benita's Afro eccentric rather than natural. Through a saga, Benita refines her own identity as well as her image of Africa, and she ends the play thinking seriously about moving there as a doctor to become part of its future. Mm -hmm.